Three Nation. By the time he played Spirit in the Night, my husband got his feet going, filling along the best he can. In other words, you had addicted. I have converted. <laughs> we, we have a new member of East Three Nation. Converting regular people into Bruce fans. Sirius XM, East Street Radio. And here we are on East Street. You know what I wonder about One Headlight? I wonder if Jacob, being a Bruce fan, which he couldn't have written One Headlight unless he was, um, wonder what that had to do with Bob becoming a Bruce friend and saying nice things about him instead of saying cryptically hostile things about him. Interesting question. Scott in D.C., you're on East Street Radio. How you doing? I'm doing great. Um, I, I was uh, compelled to call because listening to that last caller say that he's 24 and is a Bruce fan, well, I'm 25, and I thought I'd give you a story about how I became. Uh, Absolutely. The, kind of, the great kind of story that we get here. Well, you know, my dad and mom, especially my dad, were diehard fans, and I remember listening to Born to Run over and over, or at that point, Born to Run, Born in the USA, the whole album, uh, when my mom would take me to preschool and kindergarten, even. Did it and drive you up the wall? I'm sorry? Did it drive you up the wall? <laughs> it drove me up the wall. And, you know, uh, even, like, into my high school years, I would always know Bruce as the guy who always yelled, you know, is anybody alive out there? And I, you know, give my dad so much crap for making me listen to it over and over and over again. And it wasn't until, I guess, two years ago when XM and Sirius merged, and I had XM, so I was able to listen to D Street Radio, and I thought I'd give this guy a shot. You know, let's see what the big deal is about Bruce, because I guess I hadn't given him a fair shake in the past couple of years, and I just became obsessed. And I listen to you guys all the time. Bruce is now one of my top two favorite bands of all time, and I'm just crazy obsessed with them. Well, that's that's fabulous. That's fabulous. Uh, well, and, and it's, and, I mean, it's thank you, because thank you for all of us, because because this is kind of why we do things, you know, in the hope that somebody will hear something and go, oh, that makes my life richer. Yeah, no, and, it, and it's great for me because you know every time I listen to the um, to the station, I always hear a new song that I've never heard before, whether it be an outtake or a uh, you know a demo of Backstreet or something like that, and it's. It's always fun to listen and, and just find a new song that I got to go download uh, on iTunes. Well, let right me ask. Yeah, let me ask you a couple things. First okay. of all, um, who's your other favorite man? Pearl Jam. Oh yeah. Well, there's a there's a connection there. Have you ever heard any of the Pearl of Eddie singing any of Bruce's songs? I have, and I actually saw the first time I saw Bruce was at the Vote for Change. Oh yeah. Concert in uh, 04 at the MCI Center, Verizon Center. Now, so I saw them do. Uh, you know, a couple songs together. Yeah, they do Darkness. They did a great Darkness that week in New Jersey. I know that. Yeah, I, I've seen that on YouTube a couple times. Right. I'm a huge Pearl Jam fan, and and I love nothing. Well, maybe going and seeing Pearl Jam sing Black, but other than that, I love nothing better than to see Eddie Sony sings Bruce songs and Townsend songs. Yeah. Uh, um, well, I got, I got a question for you, Dave. One of the reasons I wanted to call was because you in my... Uh, Schooling of Bruce, trying to learn everything about him that I can. I've read your uh, Glory Days book. I didn't get your first one yet, but I read Glory Days. And uh, great book. But one of my biggest complaints was that it, it leaves off right at the point where I'm most interested in Bruce, right when he starts, you know, disbanding the band. Okay, I'll tell you what, Scott. I, what I'm going to do, because I, I think anybody who can tell the story you just told should have this done for him, is you can ask me whatever you want to ask me. But, Jim, I'm going to put Scott on hold after this, and you can tell him, give him uh, the davemarsh.us. Well, you can actually, you can just send me an email at davemarsh.us, Scott, and tell me that you're Scott from D.C., and I will get you a copy of my book, Glory Days, which has all kinds of updates and, and stuff, and I'll, and I'll send it to you. What's the email address again? Dave, it's, it's just send it to davemarsh at davemarsh.us. Okay. And anybody can reach me there. That's our new, my new website, and uh, it's, it's up and running. I haven't started blogging yet because I've been too busy interviewing the rascals. Uh, and it's literally true. I was supposed to start this week, and I couldn't because every time I turned around, I was in the car going or coming back or interviewing, you know. So, uh, you know, it, it was – but it's – it's. Uh, I, I'd be happy for you to have the book. But anyway, what was your question going to be? Because it, it ends – Glory Days itself ends with the release of uh, 1975-85, basically. Right. And my favorite album of his is Tunnel of Love. So uh -huh. it's off right when I want to, you know, learn more about it. I want to know more about, um, you know, when he disbands the three bands, when he goes with, you know, the other touring bands. 
and uh, the Human Touch uh, Lucky Town album, because you know that that all is very strange to me. I never got into that because that's uh, well, in, you know, a weird time. So I was wondering if you it was a weird time. to write your new book or if you had a no. Actually, I actually I got two things. I've got I've got a big photo book uh, called. Uh, Bruce Springsteen on tour in 19, uh, was it 19, 1965 to 2005, which goes, to, which covers a lot of the stuff you're asking about. And then I've got this Hard Rock and Soul book, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, Two Hearts book, which uh, which has that has what you need, and I and I'll send you a copy of that. Um, the photo book I'm running low on copies of, but I got lots of the other one. Uh, so you just send me that email at Dave Marsh at DaveMarsh.us, and uh, I will get it out to you. And anybody else who wants to get in touch, you can do that. Do it that way, or you can send us an email at eStreetRadio at SiriusXM.com, or if you want to do the Be the Boss, and Scott, you sound like a guy who should do Be the Boss. You I send, should be the boss. Yeah, well, send Tom, Tom, because Tom gets him, um, uh, with a little help from his friends, um, a, an email at be the boss at SiriusXM.com, and, and uh, get that rolling. I'd love to hear what you're going to do. And Tom will be sure to run it on a Friday morning right before the show. That'd be awesome. Absolutely. That'd be Just don't let us start late. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <Still Right. laughs> start them early. Don't make us wait. <laughs> anyway, Scott, thank you so much for all no, of that. Thank you very much. I appreciate all that you guys do. This is great. Hello. All right. Thank, well, thank you. And now all I right, get I'll to talk to you later. All right, great. And now I get to talk to my friend Ben Lazar.